and we are live hello everyone and welcome back to mufasa's daily book reading at noon my name is mpo and i am your reader for today happy first day of september spring day i honestly hope you've been having an amazing day we're still going to be reading from our book the eighth habit written by stephen r covey and we are going to be reading the uh, frequently um, ask questions that are in this book about leadership and there's about I think a few more left so we're going to read question 12, 13 and 14. Remember if you've missed any of the questions or um, any of the book readings you will find all of those on our wonderful YouTube channel and that link to the YouTube channel is obviously in today's description of the live so i'm going to start reading hello to you watching this right now such a pleasure to have you and everyone who's going to be watching this in the replay if you're watching this in the replay hello to you remember to leave a comment a like as well as subscribe to our youtube channel subscribe to our youtube channel have you subscribed have you subscribed i know you have i trust i trust you've subscribed so let me read question 12 we often have leadership development acad academies, off-site special sessions, outside resource people come in to the organization. They are very helpful, uplifting and inspiring, but within a few days, it's business as usual. What do you recommend? Okay, to know and not to do is to not know. You can be temporarily inspired and emboldened with new and important knowledge and skills, but unless you apply them, you don't really know them. If the structure and the systems of the environment do not give you the incentive to apply them, you won't apply them and you won't know them. Eventually, these kinds of experiences take a toll and breed cynicism throughout a culture. Change efforts and all the new management buzzwords will get to be like cotton candy, which tastes good for a second and then evaporates. The, the key is to take the material, teach it, discuss it, and try to institutionalize it by building the fundamental principles right into the daily processes of how the daily work gets done and how people get rewarded then it will take no longer will it be a sideshow it will be under the main tent question 13 what if this approach simply doesn't work i'm sure when you were doing the readings you did ask yourself well, what if right if people won't apply it it won't work this is no silver bullet it takes deep commitment, patience, and persistence, particularly in making changes or transitions from one mind and skill set to another. Mind and skill set. The associated tool set will help enormously, but in the last analysis, people must be committed to go to work. We had a client today in one of our uh, social media complimentary sessions, right? I hope you've... Um, looked into having a complimentary session of our social media intelligence um, mentoring program and the client said if there's no change there won't be any change if you if you don't work on it then there won't be any change and i think that was a very good point and i think that's what they're talking about here as well question 14 what is the best way to initiate these changes assuming you have made them inside yourself if you were driving a car with your foot on the brake, what would be the fastest way to move forward? To floor it or to release the brake? Obviously, to release the brake. Similarly, with cultures and organizations, there are driving forces and restraining forces. Driving forces are usually the logical economic realities, which would be equivalent to flooring it, pushing the gas pedal down. Restraining forces are usually cultural and emotional and would represent the break. 
Through third alternatives and synergistic communication, restraining forces are converted into driving forces. Not only do you make significant, significant advancements, but also they are culturally sustained because of this involvement and commitment. Kirk Lewis forces force field theory is embodied in this answer. So I'm going to end the reading for today right there. We have a few more questions left and I think by next week, Wednesday, we'll be done with the questions and we're going to jump onto a new book. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading. You've subscribed to our YouTube channel. You've left a comment, you've liked this video and you're definitely going to share it with anyone close to you. Thank you so much. I will see you on Friday. Goodbye.